Jeez. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Malik here, and today I haven't posted in a while. So, it's September 2nd, Rise of Iron's coming out in 18 days. Hype is going on, a lot of hype. So, this video today is going to be based around Rise of Iron, the new Destiny expansion coming out on September 20th. We, I'm going to be talking about what's new, what's getting nerfed, pretty much all the information we have so far on Destiny Rise of Iron. Because, for those who don't know... Um, what we're getting, I want you guys to know because it looks really good to be honest. I'm super excited, but before I put, I'm going to put up the trailer in a couple seconds, but I just want to say, sorry for not posting just cause, um, I was at a cottage, my buddy's cottage and we had a good time. I was there for like five, six days, but that's why I didn't post. So yeah, here's the, um, I'm going to put up the, uh, trailer right now. We thought we were indestructible. The Lords of Iron. We swore we would do anything to protect the last city. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. we had sealed away the plague for eternity. But now, it has returned. And this time, with a fallen army. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Stand with me, Guardian. Prove yourself worthy, and the Iron Lords will rise again. Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gjallarhorn. Alright, so if you guys saw that, hope you enjoyed that little, not sneak peek, but it's already been released. But I hope you guys liked me adding that in there just for those who haven't seen it before. So, um, now I'm going to be talking about the information of Rise of Iron. Like, what's coming out and stuff like that. So, okay, so, what is it about? Um, so, The Fallen... If you guys know, you obviously know the Fallen is it's one of the five races in the Destiny enemy universe. So, they have breached the inner walls of the last safe haven on Earth. So, pretty much inside those walls, there was a virus called SIVA. And this virus, the Iron Lords, they all closed this. They made the walls so no one can get into the SIVA virus because... It's very dangerous and powerful. So, excuse me. So, they closed it off. They didn't want anyone to know about it. They didn't want anyone to get it. But the Fallen got it. And what this is doing, it's kind of like a sickness. And it mutates them. So, as you saw in the trailer, the Fallen were mutated. Weirdly. Like, it's not going to be normal drags or normal vandals. They're going to be weirdly mutated. But, it's going to add new abilities and new challenges when we're fighting them in the campaign or in the stories and um what else so lord salad in this whole pr predicament when the fallen were breaching the walls it it lord saladin recognized this and he he went to the inner walls after they broke in and there he's trying to kill all the fallen before they fully mutate and pretty much try to re-inhabit Earth and take over Earth. So, Lord Saladin is trying to close that off, right? So, um, yeah. So, if you don't know who Lord Saladin is, he's the guy 
when Iron Banner comes out, you talk to him, get the missions from him. And if you saw in the trailer what I just put, that he's pretty much the guy with the wolves and the helmet and the flaming axe, pretty much. So, um, what else, what else? So, the there's going to be a new raid, of course. I think you guys heard of that. It's called, it's going to be called The Wrath of the Machine. And it is it says it's supposed to be extremely hard. And to be honest with you, I have a raid team and we go in blind every time a new raid comes out. We completed King's Fall without any help. Really hard, it took pretty much all night. But yeah, we're, we're pretty scared for this because we think it's gonna be a huge challenge. It's very, very hard and upsetting because you just don't know the tricks and the mechanics. So um, there's gonna be a new light cap. Um, right now it's 335, but it's going to be brought up to 385. But that's before the hard raid comes out. And when the hard raid comes out, it's going to be 400. Which is actually, I, I like the highlight cap. It's a grind. It makes it a grind again. Because I, I like, I'm like 334, 335 on all my characters. So I just usually do trials. Not really any raids. I don't really need anything else. But there's going to be... This is actually pretty cool. There's gonna be new eight new artifacts, and each of the artifacts are gonna be are gonna represent an Iron Lord. If you don't know who the Iron Lords are, they're like Fell Winter, Radgast. But if you know the guns, Fell Winter's Lie, that's a shotgun, and Radgast Fury, that's a rocket launcher. They're named after the Iron Lords. So each of these artifacts is gonna have a special ability. And that you can't obtain in the regular Destiny universe, like unlimited sprints, jumping higher, um, regaining your shields faster. I don't know if this is legitimately what they're going to be, but I'm just giving examples. But they're going to add special abilities for you, which is really, really cool. And there's also going to be a new social space called um, Felwinter's Peak. And that I'm really excited for that because right now we only have two. We have the tower, of course, and the reef so we're going to be adding a fell winter's peak in there that's going to be really really fun to explore um there's going to be new crucible modes well just one crucible mode um supremacy that's what it's going to be called um they're bringing back sparrow racing and two old strikes they're also bringing back two old strikes the strikes are called devil's lair and the summoning pits i don't know if you know them i'm pretty sure summoning pits is the one where you fight that gigantic ogre not Ogre. The guy with one eye. I think it's called Ogre. So I'm, I'm sounding like a scrub now. I haven't played Destiny while. I'm actually going to get on right after this vid. Um, but Supremacy, Sparrow Racing, and Tool Strikes. Um, they're going to be adding... Well, Supremacy is going to be like Kill Confirmed in Call of Duty. You should know. If, you, if you're a gamer, you should know what Kill Confirmed is. But it's pretty much where you kill an enemy, they drop a tag or like something, they drop something, you go and pick it up for extra points. There's going to be three new Crucible maps. Um, they're going to be called Floating Gardens, Last Exit, and Skyline. Um, that, I'm really excited for the new Crucible maps. That should be really, really fun. And there's going to be a new strike. It's going to be called the Wretched Eye. And it says right here, it says... It should prove to be an, a, a monumental challenge, so I'm really excited for that. We could, we could play that new strike, and it, right here it says it should be hard. So, I like a challenge always, but that honestly wraps it up a little bit. I have oh, there's some new guns too. Um, okay, so, um, in this in this Rise of Iron DLC, there's going to be a lot of new mechanic fixes, not fixes, but adding onto the mechanics of the game. They're going to be called weapon ornaments and sh and and um weapon ornaments and armor ornaments. And ornaments are pretty much it's kind of like uh what are those called? The shaders, not the shaders. Um what are those things called? They just came back came out in Taken King the You know those things that you can just add onto your gun uh the add onto your armor only or some guns and it's just like a little little light kind of like that. I don't know what it's called. I'm probably just going to add it into the video. Um, it's going to be like that, but like 10 times better. And for example, right here, I'll put a picture up right now. It's, um, the Monte Carlo. You should know that gun, but it changed and it's black and red. 
instead of just white. And you can put an ornament on the Hawk Moon. And instead of just being like silverish gray color, it turns it to like pretty much matte black and gold feathers at the front. And there's going to be a new, um, a new, uh, what's it, what's it called? A new faction, not a faction, but a weapon brand. Like Omalon, you know Omalon, there's Omalon, uh, Tex Mechanica. There's going to be a new one of those, and it's going to be called, um, it's going to be called, it, there's something with an N, it's called, I'll put it in right here, I'm forgetting every, I'm forgetting my notes, I have a script, um, the, uh, they're bringing back the Galahorn, as you saw in the trailer at the very end, if you pre-order it, you get it, a silver Galahorn, which I think is pretty cool, but I kind of like the gold one better, but I am pre-ordering it, of course, because I'm a Destiny fan, um, the, as I said earlier, the, the eight, the eight, um, what are they called? The eight, uh, artifacts. These are, I have all the names right here. So there's going to be Memory of Fellwinter, Memory of Scory, Memory of Perun, Memory of Gelon, Gelion, Memory of Timur, Memory of Radgast, Men Memory of Jolder, and yeah. There's also going to be new Trials of Osiris armor. And it looks so nice. You have no idea. It's it's bl it the new color scheme is black, blue, and gold. And like like black, white, blue, and gold. But it looks so nice. I can't even like under. It's so pretty. Not well, pretty. That kind of sounds gay. It's so just such a nice color. It, it suits it so well. They're bringing back Thorn. I know some people are like crying in their seats right now. Thorn, oh, I have a love-hate relationship with Thorn, to be honest. Now, probably the most hype thing that we've been asking for, private matches. They're adding private matches into Destiny. You can one for all those people that said 1v1 me, and you guys would just go into, like, a, a old-fashioned rumble, you can 1v1 them now and wreck them. It's, it's so cool. I love the fact that they're adding private matches. You can just do 6v6, 4v4s with your friends. You could do GB, to be honest. That's I'm so excited for that. If you guys don't know what GB is, it's called Game Battles. It's on Call of Duty. And it's, like, competitive. It's on MLG.com. Well, I don't know if they'll add it on MLG.com, but if they did, that would be so cool. And that pretty much wraps this video up. And I am super happy to make this video. I'm sorry I wasn't really posting recently. But, yeah, this pretty much concludes the video. My name is Malik, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.